Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram would like to thank all those customers who allowed us to serve them in 2015. It is our absolute pleasure to assist you in all of your vehicle needs. Our dedicated team is committed to bring you the very best car buying experience possible. No matter what you're searching for, Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is sure to offer it. We're located just off I-16 on Highway 441 in Dublin, and we're proud to serve all our neighbors throughout the area. Visit us today and speak to one of our specialists in sales, finance, and in our service. Our team here at Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram makes it as convenient as possible for you to shop on our lot or from the comfort of your own home. We have a large selection of new vehicles with exceptional value for you to choose from, and we're confident that your dream car is with us now. Call us at 1-800-GO-DODGE. Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We're ready to serve you today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, we're going to take a break, uh, one week break from uh, basketball shows and uh, profile a sport here at East Lawrence that everyone thinks about as being a spring sport, but as long as I can remember, it started in the wintertime and uh, it doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. And of course, I'm speaking of baseball. A lot of you already know Coach Gene Mulkey to my side, and it's a pleasure to be here with you, Coach. Nice to be here. Uh, now, you know, mentioned uh, getting that cold start. Uh, Y'all have been at it for a while. Why don't you let the fans know what uh, you've been uh, and the baseball team's been up to the past month? We've, um, pitchers have been throwing for, this is week six, you know, so we kind of got a, we got a little bit earlier start this year um, on a pitching program than we did, than we did it last year. Um, you know, we've had some pretty good weather and you know, we threw over Christmas break also, and you know, Christmas break had some weather that was kind of, kind of crazy this year. But you know, we had some real good weather to throw in then. And as soon as we get back from Christmas, you know, it goes down into the twenties, in which we're still throwing. Um, but it's uh, like Scott said, it's when it gets to be really, really cold weather, then you know it's time for it's time for baseball to start, and we start next Monday and. We're just kind of hoping and praying right now that it's not in the 20s when we start next week. Um, but uh, whatever, whatever weather we have, we'll be we'll be at it. We'll be hard at it starting next Monday. Um, you know, with man mandatory practices starting. All right. Yeah. It always seems like you could have a week of 70s, and then as soon as all you got to do is say baseball first game and then the temperature is <laughs> going to drop and you're going to have people huddled up in blankets and hot chocolate and That's right. everything else you can imagine. Now, uh, why don't you profile some of the, or give you know the fans an idea of some of the players that you have returning from last year's team? We, um, I go back to, to last year for just a second. We lost, or we graduated, we graduated five seniors last year, um, all of them starters. Uh, all of them were not starters all through their high school career, but their senior year they all started. Um, three of them started for you know for several years, and out of the five guys that we graduated last year, three of them were uh, played very important roles in the, in the in the pitching staff. And Blake Tony, we graduated. He was actually our number one, uh, which he is pitching at East Georgia now. So we graduated five. Um, we got four seniors returning, uh, three of those which have started for a year or two already. Austin Scott, um, he's a, a small guy that's um, full of power. He's going to be a guy that we're going to go to this year to play wherever we need him to play. He's probably going to see time in center field, probably going to see some time at third, maybe short, maybe second. Classic utility some. guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's kind of like, you know, I like to talk to these guys about, you know, Buster Posey. You know, play, learn to play everywhere because you help us out a lot more, you know, doing that. So, you know, that guy, you know, Scott being so versatile and being able to help us out in so many different areas is going to be a is going to be a, a major plus. Um, we also have Caven Rotrammel. Um, 
He's a, a, a returning starter from last year. He's had some, some arm issues. He's had a labrum issue with his shoulder. Um, we're not exactly sure what capacity he will, you know, he will be in this year, but he's throwing. Everything's going good. So, you know, he's, a, he's an outfielder slash pitcher slash first baseman. Mm -hmm. um, the other senior that, that's returning that has started for us in the past is Connor Hobbs. Um, started in left field as a sophomore and a junior. So he's probably going to be spending time at third base and probably some left field, maybe some center field. It's just according to who's pitching. And the other returning senior we got coming back is uh, Darian Walker. Um, he's been in the program for a long time. You know, he, uh, he will see the field at what capacity, I'm not real sure. But um, Darian's one of those guys that kind of leads by example. Um, he's a leader on the program in the dugout, in the school, in the classroom, and he's just a, you know, he's a pleasure to have around. So we got a pretty good, pretty good senior class coming back. Now, some of the guys that are going to be stepping up from JV into now a varsity role, who are some of the guys? Well, we've got, a, <clears throat> we've got a group of uh, our juniors this year are Colby Owens, Bryson Edge, Ethan Woods, Landon McCoy, um, those guys, I, think, I don't think I left anybody out. Um, those guys are sophomores that are going to be juniors. Um, Colby has started for us the ninth and the tenth grade year, so you know he's not stepping up from right from JV, TV. but he's a, you know he's a young guy that that you know will be. Uh, Bryson Edge is a junior, um, has seen some varsity level play during the summer. Uh, like I said, he's a junior, and we're looking for we're looking for big things out of him on the mound as well as at the plate and at, at third base. Um, Ethan Woods, a junior, and he started for us a lot last year behind the plate. Um, right now, he's the he's the starting catcher for this year as a junior. Um, and Landon McCoy is a uh, he's a junior, and hasn't seen varsity play in time yet. He's he's trying to work his way into the lineup and work his way into some playing time and you know we have a 10th grade group that uh, I think is going to be that's going to be a real good group there's probably there's probably four or five of those guys that are probably going to end up helping us this year mm -hmm. a little bit at the varsity level um, we just have to see we're probably going to end up starting three or four sophomores at some point in time during the year um, so we got big hopes for that sophomore group that they're going to step up and fill some shoes. Yeah, well, it looks like the you know the lineup of guys that you have, it's going to be really balanced, not necessarily senior heavy, not incredibly young, just spread out through you know the major classes that you would expect to see playing at this yeah. level. There's a real good possibility that we'll start three seniors, three juniors, and three sophomores. Yeah. Um, I've got a so I've got a I've got a freshman, uh, Cam Oliver which is a catcher, mm -hmm. and he's, he's not ready, um, but he, he works pretty hard, and I don't think you can work him hard enough. He, uh, you know, there's a slim possibility that he may be, he may have to fill a catching role at some certain time, um, you know, if Ethan was to get hurt, which we all hope that he does it. Um, you know, we may be, we may be looking at Cam to help us out of behind the plate a little bit. So, um, you know, we're like you said, we're pretty balanced, and you know, we're excited. The kids have been working hard. They've worked hard in the weight room all year long. Their numbers have steadily increased. Um, like I said, they've been working hard for six weeks, and um, we've been running for a while. So hopefully, we're going to be hopefully we'll be ready to go a month from. I guess it's this Friday. Well, you, you took the next question <laughs> out of my mouth there. You know, you mentioned starting mandatory uh, practices, you know, next week. Right. Um, and so the time frame's about four weeks now. We yeah, we'll actually, well, we have four weeks, um, which is actually, um, we start mandatories next Monday, and we'll practice for four weeks before we play. Um, and we're, um, last year we scrimmaged tail fair. This year, um, we kind of changed it up a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna travel to Augusta, 
and play Cross Creek um, in a scrimmage this year. Uh, good baseball program over there. And we're going to go to Augusta and snap it on and see what happens against a, a, a lot bigger school than we are. All right. Well, folks, we're up against a break. We'd like to ask you please honor these sponsors that make this show possible. Would you like to save on your energy cost and lower your utility bills at the same time? Then you need to call today your spray foam specialist at 275-2100. Studies by the U.S. Department of Energy show that 40% of a home's energy is lost as the result of air infiltration through walls, windows, and doorways. Insulation that is sprayed protects against moisture, which prevents the benefit of reducing the chance of harmful mold and mildew. Spray Foam Specialist provides customers with a proper assessment of all your insulation needs. Call Spray Foam Specialist today at 275-2100 for a healthier, quieter, and more energy efficient home. Spray Foam Specialist, Dublin. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, we've, we've changed guests now. We're here. I'm honored to be here with the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Coach Eddie Floyd. Who, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, glad to have you on the show, Thank Coach. You. Along with it. Coach Gay, they uh, head up the East Lawrence Middle School uh, baseball program, and it's a, a program that's been on the rise the past few years. Coach, uh, you know, kind of like what we talked about with, uh, you know, uh, Coach Mulkey just a minute ago, uh, you know, with y'all, that you the eighth graders like y'all senior class. So right. who, who are some of the eighth graders that you're, you've got, uh, you, you know, they were seventh graders last year, rising eighth graders that you right. are really looking forward to having and you know you're going to be, have to rely on this year? Well, two, um, definitely that, that's, you know, going, we're going to have to rely on our uh, Carson Kite. Mm -hmm. um, he's a big kid. He's been in the mm -hmm. weight room. Um, he hit well last year, played first base for us this year. Um, he'll probably play third some this year. Um, Alex Munns pitched. Uh, he did a great job last year as a seventh grader through strikes, um, played shortstop. So he, he, he's getting better. Uh, his arm strength's getting better. Um, fielding's getting better, so we'll rely on him. Another one is uh, Chandler Green. Um, he played a little bit last year. We're going to try him at first base this year um, and see what he can do. Um, He's gotten bigger. They've all gotten stronger. They've been mm -hmm. in a little weight program we have at the middle school and, and uh, great attitudes. Another one is uh, Reese Lewis, uh, Clint Dozier um, that that's played last year. Um, Colby Young, he played outfield mm -hmm. a little bit for us last year. Uh, and there's several others that I, you know, that'll have to be plugged in there and, and uh, step up as eighth graders. Uh, they're great leaders. These mm -hmm. are great kids. Um, you know, last year we were young. Yeah, so we took our lumps. Uh, we didn't have but a few eighth graders that started, and that started, you know, at least two years. And um, so this year we should be better. We got some seven, uh, sixth graders that were last year. going to be seventh graders this year that will step up. Um, one of those is Ryan Mims. The other one, Link Pope. Um, <coughs> Donaldson, the Donaldson, Chase Donaldson. Um, Ryan Perry. Mm -hmm. All those kids can play. Charlie Johnson, the, you know, they played a little bit as a sixth grader. Uh, we had three sixth graders start for our team last year in the middle school. Yeah. So you know when you start sixth graders you're going to take lumps. lumps. Yeah, but at the same the time go. those kids are getting that playing time that they need desperately. Mm -hmm. And um, so you know they've seen the pitching already at the middle school level so now that I think they'll be ready to go this year. Alright now uh, what about uh, I know the the schedule of when you can practice when you can start it's a little bit different in the middle school than the high school. When we all right. begin uh, We'll kick off January the 20th um, with um, workouts and, and hitting and throwing, um, more or less throwing and working out, you know, running mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, and then um, we'll play, we'll do tryouts first of February um, after our big baseball camp we do. And then um, we'll start, have our first game on the 20th of February. And then uh, we'll play ball games up until the 14th of March, and that'll be our first region game. Mm -hmm. We'll play about nine ball games before our region game. All right, and then how many region contests are you looking for? Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a total of 16 games there. That's, oh, yeah. that's not a bad. And that ain't including our sixth grade team. 
Yeah. You know, we'll have six games that don't count for anything with our sixth graders. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a, when we, when Coach Allie Good, uh, Whitney, started that, that's when the program at the middle school level started getting better and better Well, and you, better. you get those guys, they're not sitting on the bench that's the right. whole time. They're getting some play in time that's and exactly there's right. nothing like seeing live pitching. That's you know. exactly right. Yeah. All right. Now, Coach, I know coming up, we got a big deal coming up with y'all and the uh, high school uh, baseball team. We got a baseball camp coming mm -hmm. up. Why don't you tell the folks out a little bit out, uh, you know, around the community a little bit about it now? Well, we're having a huge baseball camp on January the 30th. Uh, we've been blessed enough to have, we had four guys last year. Uh, we had Otis Nixon, John Estrada, uh, John Rocker, and Steve Woodard. The camp was a huge success. Um, we had 123 campers that day mm -hmm. and uh, everybody talked about how good it was and, and uh, how much fun they had and so um, talking with a couple of the guys John and, and Steve and those guys we decided to go out and get more more guys to make it more enticing for young kids and a better camp mm -hmm. and uh, we did so we got Marquise Grisham you know he played with the Braves, the Braves. World, World, World Series mm -hmm. with the Braves and then he just recently stopped coaching with the Nationals so we got Wes Hams, which played with mm -hmm. the Braves, the Phillies, and the Marlins. Mm -hmm. Then we got Mark Inge, which is going to do our speed and conditioning that day. Uh, we got uh, Ron Jackson, Papa, they call him Papa Jack. He played 12 years in the majors and then coached 18 years, and he just recently won a World Series with the um, Boston Red Sox as their mm -hmm. hitting coach. Um, then we got Mike Heath, which is my cousin. He yeah. played 19 years. Um, he um, won a World Series with the Yankees. Won an AL with the Oakland A's, went to Detroit, played with the Cardinals, and then he retired with the Braves in 91 and mm -hmm. 92 season when they went from worst to best. Yes, yeah. And uh, then we got Steve Woodard and then John Rocker back. And our only ca our camp went up $4 with all those guys. Yeah. And um, so it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time for our community. And um, we've had several people come out to sponsor this thing and yeah, why in our community. Well, why don't you go over the sponsors that you have this year? <clears throat> well, we got John Mark Butler at State Farm. Uh, Tanner Service Center, um, Michael's Pharmacy, uh, Spivey Trucking, Lakes Alignment, uh, Ag Georgia Credit, uh, Ron and Norris at TJ and S Demer Daner, Oconee Bait and Tackle, Citizens Bank Jeff Cannon, uh, Y96 Stephanie Miller there has done an excellent job of putting us on the radio with interviews. Mm -hmm. We've been we did interviews before Christmas and we're gonna fix to do some uh, this this next week or the next with uh, Marquise and a couple other guys. We've already had John Rocker and Steve, and then Mar State Bank. All right. And they have just, the support for this camp has just been overwhelming. Well, without out your sponsors, there's no way you could have gotten these, That's right. these guys in. Now, That's exactly right. uh, give, give the people out there a chance or a, an idea of how a, uh, an instructional camp like this will go for the day. Well, last year we had it divide, divided up with age groups. Mm -hmm. um, and we had seven or six stations. This year we're going to have seven stations. So one station will be catching and bunt defense and, and, and pitching from the, the defense from the pitcher's mound. And that will be done by Mike Heath. Then we'll have infield with Wes Hams. Then we'll have outfield group with Marquise Grisham. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have hitting with Ron Jackson, Papa Jack. Um, then we'll have speed and conditioning with Mark Inge and then pitching pitchers, all pitchers will work with John Rocker and Steve Woodard. Um, so, I mean, for an opportunity to a kid to work with somebody like Marquise Grisham that's been an all-star, he's been a gold mm -hmm. glove, I mean, it's just phenomenal. I mean, I never got that opportunity, and, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm telling these kids, you know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, Well, you have people that not only have have played the game, but they played it at the highest level. And won it at, and the, won highest it at the highest level. So you know that what they're telling you is the truth. That's right. <laughs> you know, exactly. it, it, for, like, there's no other way to say it. That's that, that, exactly right. You know, they understand what it takes to perform at that level. That's right. And uh, knowing that now, for a lot of these kids, the the, the names they they only know the names you know of right. of who is big at their time. To us, those names are big names. That's you, right. You know, That's exactly yeah, But right. it's one of those things where they begin to say, okay, well, Dad, uh, so and so's. Uh, wait a minute, he's going to be at the camp, <laughs> you know, the dad's wanting to sign up. That's exactly right. And see, we're inviting the public for a $1 fee to come out, 
and, and come see these guys and you can buy a signing ticket for five bucks and get anything you want signed. We're inviting the public to come and watch this thing. And, um, you know, Gene Mulkey, he does a wonderful job with the facilities, with mm -hmm. the field up maintenance, because, I mean, we want everything perfect the day of that camp because there's so many people coming. And, and Gene and his staff does a great job, helps out all through the year. And um, uh, a little bit about the camp, it's January the 30th. The ages are eight to 17. Well, I've told people again and again and again, if your son's seven and he's gonna turn eight this year, he can come to the camp. Mm -hmm. Or if your son, 17, is in, in, in high school, senior in high school, he can come to this camp. Um, <clears throat> the registration, uh, these forms, um, they can be found on Facebook, on my Facebook page at Eddie Floyd, or they can come to call the schools and we can email them one. And um, my contact number is 912-682-2837 or eddiefloyd at lcboe.net. And I'll give them a form. Um, we're going to only have 150 spots because we don't want so many kids in the groups that you can't get one possibly on one. manage it. That's exactly yeah. right. And we'll have coaches, our coaching staff, and possibly a few other coaches from around the community to come out and help us, you know, guide kids through stations. Now, they will not be doing any coaching. The major leaguers do that. And so, you know, it'll be organized. Um, Coach Mulkey's going to have a concession stand for everybody. So if you come out and get hungry, you know, Coach Mulkey will feed you. Yeah. He's actually feeding all the campers for us. And um, so, it's going to be a fun day. It's All right. I know last day. year uh, it was one of those things where, you know, you, you hear about it, you start it, it's, interest starts building. And mm -hmm. then I think for a lot of people that went, it exceeded their expectations. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And they're, they're, they're going into it now this year realizing what it was like last year, and they can't wait to experience it Right. Again. See, last year I had, I had a big um, rush right there about the – week or two weeks before the camp this year people have already said put us down we got to, and you know i'm starting to get stuff in earlier this year because once 150 spots are taken yeah it's over i'm gonna close it yeah. and there won't be any signups the day of the camp now until that that day you know till that day when we hit 150 kids will be able to sign up the day at that morning but if when the cutoff hits yeah, that's yeah. all we're going to take the cutoff hits tomorrow i'm sorry that's yeah it. That's it. all right folks well uh, Coach Floyd has already run down the information, uh, you know, that you need. Uh, if you still, you know, have, have trouble, uh, just contact the uh, middle school office. They'll be able to get you in touch with Coach Floyd. And, uh, again, uh, January the 30th. 30th. From 9 to 4. And, uh, folks, like to congratulate the East Lawrence High School uh, wrestling team for finishing second in area. I'd like to remind you that we still have – uh, region basketball going on. A lot of things you can get behind the Falcons with uh, this winter in sports. And uh, as always, go Falcons.